Hey everyone, what is going on? So we have some more Nightmare Cup battles and we're going up against King IV, at least in the first two battles. He accepted two battles, so that's what we're doing. Two battles and beginning with Alolan Muck and he begins with Polyrath. So getting off that power of punch, I'm not going to block that. And uh, yeah, my strategy here was just use Acid Spray and then bring in Shift Tree so he didn't have time to switch so it could knock it out immediately. And um... Yeah, so, and I also wanted him to use another power up punch so he couldn't use power up punch against my shift tree. And yeah, I guess I didn't give him enough time to switch. It worked out for us because we do knock out that Polyrath. But of course, he's going to bring in something that's strong against shift tree, being, um, being this Zatu. Now he does get off his move. We're going to go ahead and block that Aerial Ace because we wanted to get off this Leaf Blade. It would have done a decent amount of damage. He blocks it, expecting foul play. Now, I do want foul play on my shift tree. So I'm probably going to remove Leaf Tornado because it really doesn't do much. Uh, lowering the defense is more important than lowering attack in my opinion. So I bring out my Alolan Mach, decide not to block and decide to let this one go down. Hoping he doesn't get a buff and he doesn't. So we bring in Zatu and we knock it out. So now it's one versus one and this could have been good for me. Let's say he had another fighting type on his team. I didn't think he would because he had Polyrath. So not really super good for us. We go for the Ominous win knowing he was going to block. He goes for his own Ominous win. Of course we're going to block. And yeah, not looking pretty well for me. We're going to go ahead and get off an Ominous win. Now I was watching his video. If you want to go check him out. He said... Aerial Ace might have knocked him out. I don't think it would have, but uh, I sh definitely should have went for it because it not was not only stabbed, it was neutral, and Ominous Wind wasn't stabbed, and it was neutral, so I should have went for the Aerial Ace anyway. But let me know what you guys think. Do you think that would have knocked it out at that range? I don't think it would have. But uh, either way, good game. That was actually a close game. So we begin another match. He gets in. He has the advantage. We switch into Toxic Croak. He brings in his Spirit Tomb. So yeah, not looking good right from the get go. Uh, he's gonna go ahead and use Ominous Wind, and that's gonna do a lot of damage to me. I decide not to block. I'm gonna get off this Mud Bomb. Uh, by the way, guys, we're gonna leave King IV's channel in the the description down below if you want to go check him out i know you guys know him so i technically don't even have to do that but i, I want to do it just in case maybe one of you doesn't know him or whatnot and plus it's always fair to do so right so definitely go check him out uh he seriously whooped my butt he's not the only one that whooped my butt in in these videos we have more losses to come uh didn't play so hot in today's video i don't know but either way we have the shift tree out right now waiting to see what he brings out he's waiting out the switch clock he brings out toxic croak We're we're gonna go ahead and block this but yeah not much we could do at this point he does bluff me with the mud bomb though so i guess i shouldn't have blocked it but i knew i wasn't in a good position at this point anyway so uh, i blocked that mud bomb from coming and i was like yeah there's really nothing i could do he still has a shield we get off that flamethrower but again doesn't matter because he does have that shield and of course he's gonna block it so uh, his toxic croak is gonna be able to knock out skunk tank and uh, our last Pokemon is going to be that Shift Tree, and of course he's going to be able to beat me. Sludge Bomb just knocks out Shift Tree, so he does destroy me that game. Uh, so good games, King. I hope to meet you at GoFest if I get a ticket. If I do get a ticket, hopefully we can meet up and have some more battles. I definitely want my revenge, so I'll beat you one of these days, you know. <laughs> definitely will. But either way, good game. So now we're going to jump into another opponent against my good friend Jokes, who I did beat in the final round in the Kingdom Cup. He is a good uh, competitive player, though, and we do battle a lot. That's why you see him on the channel a lot. Um, but, um, yeah, so we knock out his Chimeco. Now, a few of you had recommended that I trial Chimeco, and I'm not against that. I do plan on trying it out. But uh, every time I battle Chimeco, I always destroy it. So it's like I'm, I'm curious how it could do but who knows maybe maybe it could do well uh with the right moves or whatnot we do block that uh shift trees move just because we wanted to knock him out and we're in a really good position he brings out his umbreon so we're gonna go ahead and use acid spray just to lower his defense because it's such a bulky pokemon so we want to lower his uh defense so we have that for our following pokemon actually lowering it again with acid spray so uh acid spray i really like really enjoying it um, just doing a lot of damage now with that alone mark because we lowered his defense stage twice bringing in shift tree We're gonna go ahead and block that foul play didn't have to but that's okay He actually has another foul play, so I guess it's good. We blocked it But uh still we could have taken both of those easily and razor leaf is gonna shred into Umbreon and we're gonna take that win So we do take a win uh, Definitely a good game definitely a good game 
Um, you know, we could have won maybe because he was trying out a Pokemon like Chimeco, and, you know, he hasn't doesn't have much experience with it, maybe. I, I don't know. Uh, but this game will be beginning with Alolan Muck, and he begins with his Toxic Croak. So, not really looking too good for us. He does have that Mud Bomb, and we do have to prepare for it. So, we're going to switch right into Zatu, and he brings in his Alolan Raticate. Not good for us, obviously, because Alolan Raticate is good, but he has Quick Attack, not Bite, on his Alolan Raticate, which is good for us. So do I. I might switch it to Bite, though. I do want to try a Bite on Alolan Raticate, but we're going to go ahead and block that Crunch, of course. Don't want to take that damage. Getting off an Aerial Ace, and uh, that's going to be blocked, of course. Hoping to be able to finish him off before he can get another move. It cannot happen. I'm going to go ahead and block this. I decided, I don't know if I should have really blocked it. I decided to block it because I knew I'd be able to finish him off and have charge moves ready to go. So I could either take one of his shields or, you know, knock him out or do a lot of damage. Not knock him out, but do a lot of damage. But he actually has Hitman Chan, so I was like, yeah, maybe I can knock it out. But we only get one ring on that, so I probably wouldn't have knocked it out anyway. But he does finish off Zatu, so I'm going to go ahead and bring in my Alolan Muck right now. So, not really a super good position for me because his power up punch charges so fast. He gets a buff. He brings in Toxic Croak, of course. He has two fighting types. I guess because, you know... He wanted to come prepare to one. I, he was expecting Shift Tree because I was practicing with Shift Tree quite a bit. Uh, so, you know, he just brought fighting types just to counter it and whatnot. So he does uh, completely destroy me in that game. So he does take the win. Uh, so good game, good game. You shouldn't always go with the same Pokemon, but because I want to use some Pokemon to test things out, I still love using Shift Tree. Uh, for right now, I guess he's used to that. So for this game, we're using Alolan Muck and he's using Sneasel. Now, Sneasel doesn't have a lot of defense and. You know, I don't really think it's the greatest Pokemon. It can be knocked out fast, but its Avalanche does a lot of damage. So uh, right now his Avalanche is going to come. So we're actually going to go ahead and block that because we don't want to take that damage. That would have either knocked me out or come close, I think. I'd probably come close. Uh, but we do go ahead and knock out Sneasel, so we do take the Pokemon advantage, even though he has the shield advantage at the moment. A little bit of lag, but we do get off this Acid Spray, uh, just trying to lower his defense. He does force up a shield. I wasn't expecting a block, honestly, but he does block it. We bring in Hypno, he switches into Zatu, and I'm like, okay, I could definitely get to this Shadow Ball, which I do, and I knew he was going to shield it, so that would take his last shield, and that's fine. So, um... At this point, I was like, I'm definitely going to block this Ominous win. I knew he'd get to another Ominous win before I can get to a Shadow Ball, but his attack and defense rose because of that Ominous win. So now I knew he would knock me out, whereas before, he wouldn't have knocked me out, and we would have been able to get to that Shadow Ball. And his attack and defense rose again. Guys, what is going on? So we're in a really terrible position at this point. Have you ever seen that where your attack and defense rose twice in a row with uh, Ominous win or something? That's absolutely crazy. So he... Totally destroys me in that one. I felt like we had that until the buff. Uh, if we got off that Shadow Ball, we would have been in an amazing position because he had, a, he had a Toxic Croak left, but he absolutely destroys me. So, one of the reasons why Zatu is so good, it's obviously not the only reason, but it's definitely one of the reasons Ominous Wind and Zatu are good. So, he begins with his Slow King. Uh, I begin with my Shift Tree. He switches. I switch without even seeing what he switches into, which I guess is a mistake on my end because obviously this was a terrible switch. You know, I shouldn't. I should have switched to something else. I shouldn't have switched. I should have stayed in. Honestly, I shouldn't have switched to Zatu. I switched without even looking. So, um, I guess I don't know. I've done that before, and I've always called it right. Maybe he was predicting I would do that. So he knocks out my Zatu. So again, I guess not the greatest play on my end, but that's okay. Um, we're just having fun here, right? So he does get off his foul play, and we're gonna go ahead and take it. Getting off another foul play, we're gonna be able to take that as well. And these Razor Leaves are just shredding into his Umbreon. And we are able to knock it out before he can get off another Foul Play, which is good. So he does bring in Toxic Croak. Not really good for me. You know, he's going to take that Leaf Blade like a champ. Uh, perhaps I should have went for Leaf Tornado just to lower his attack. Or at least have that chance of lowering his attack. So uh, we do go ahead and get off this Thunder Punch right now. And that is I'm not going to knock it out because he's going to block it. But we still have two shields, so we're going to go ahead and obviously block this. We have to block all of his attacks now because all we have is the Raichu left. Uh, but because Raichu charges up so fast, we're able to uh, actually get Wild Charge and Thunder Punch ready to go. So we actually knock out Toxicroak with Spark, and his last Pokemon is Slowking. Now, unfortunately, because I have trouble getting 
three rings or even two sometimes, we only get one ring, so it doesn't knock out Slow King. If we got two or three, it would have knocked out Slow King, but we get to another Thunder Punch and take the win anyway. We got to practice on the tapping and getting the three rings. We really do, because we would have knocked that out uh, before. But anyway, good games, and we will see you in the next video. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you so much for watching my latest video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter. If you like this video, click on one of the links to check out another one of my videos that you'll probably enjoy.